Hey friends, welcome back to the Linux Ninja. Uh, so two months ago, I recorded a video about Cosmic Desktop. It was a huge internet sensation. I'm still fighting off the paparazzis. Uh, but I got a question from Radar Cubed. It was a really good question, really good. Um, so I'm just gonna answer it and hopefully give you some advice, tell you my story. I'm gonna put the question on the screen somewhere around here. My Italian blood is kicking in, talking a lot with my hands. Um, gonna put my hands right here. It's more stoic, Icelandic. Radar Cubed, he says, very cool overview. Thanks for this. No, thank you. Click, click and subscribe. Uh, quick question, what do you do for work and what would be some advice you would give to someone who has worked in IT support for several years who is trying to pivot, pivot, if you get the reference pivot into a new position that considers their previous work in information technology thanks great question some people might disagree with everything that i'm going to say but this is just based on my experience alone for 17 years i started in first level support it support user support whatever you want to call it did that for a few years then i graduated to back end server administration stuff. And then I became a senior administrator. Uh, and I did that for 17 years. I was a Windows administrator for 17 years, not a Linux ninja. I was uh, the wizard of the windows, if you will. <laughs> And uh, so did that for 17 years. I got tired and I just wanted something different. So I moved to Canada and did that for five years, not in IT, didn't touch computers for five years, really. And so I moved back to Iceland three years ago and I was like, I want to reinvent myself in IT. Who do I want to be? And I've always admired Linux. I always liked doing things in the terminal. I liked scripting, etc. But uh, I was never that a much bigger of a fan of like what I call click ops, next, 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 the wizard, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, some people love that. It's just not, just not me. And so I applied for a Linux administrator job here in Iceland with a really large company on an Icelandic scale. Uh, so we're two people. <laughs> No, it's 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 all over Scandinavia, England. So it's it's uh, it's a big company of sorts. So I applied there, and I'm telling you all of this for a reason. I did not have a lot of Linux experience. I have some, but not a lot. Not that would justify me getting the job at all. Like if you would look at the requirements did not fulfill them at all. But I'm telling you this because if you get the interview, uh, let's say you've been working in IT support for several years, several years, and you have good references, you've got, done a good job, uh, at least you have that. And hopefully that gets you in the door to get an interview. But I'll go back to that later. But I'm telling you this because if you show up for the interview, I did it through Zoom because I was still in Canada at the time. So it was not even in person. So in person it is always better, I think. I showed up and I think this is always a good thing to show up for an interview, being excited, asking them questions, showing that you have an interest in the company, the work, and that you are willing to learn, you're a team player, you're easy to like socialize with, You're it's easy to talk to you. It's not difficult. That's how I showed up for that interview based on my experience. Uh, I've also done interviews with people in the past, stuff like that. So I kind of know what I would be looking for. And honestly, I think universally, that's what most hiring managers are looking for is just are you easy to talk to do you want to learn do you love technology are you easy to be around that would be my recommendation if you get the interview how do you get the interview so i'm going to tell you what i've been doing for the last three years because i had n almost not a lot of linux experience so I got the job based on the personality, I would call it almost a personality hire because often companies, if somebody's willing to learn, they're willing to invest into that person. Uh, I, I got hired because of my amazing personality. Hello, no, not at all. But I was just willing to learn, easy to talk to, and I think that they were like, okay, give it a shot for three months. You have to prove yourself in three months. So uh, I was hired into managed services as a Linux ad administrator. So I was overseeing hundreds of Linux servers. What I did in that time is that I, I took 
a lot of different certifications. I think I did for the last three years, I've done 11 certifications, different certifications, not all Linux. I uh, did a few AWS, I did uh, CompTIA, CompTIA Security Plus, did the RHCSA, I just did that recently, but I did a plethora of different certifications. That kind of showed my employer that I don't wanna be a couch potato, that somebody that just got the job and I'm just gonna settle, become a furniture within the company, which kind of sometimes happens. It would be my recommendation if you wanna pivot to something else is show initiative, even if you have to pay for it yourself. But I was, uh, uh, my employer paid for everything that I wanted to learn. So if you have an employer like that, that's a huge plus. But even if you have to pay for it yourself, I think that you're gonna be reimbursed later in life with opportunities because you have set yourself up. It's kind of like when opportunity and preparation meet at the crossroads of life, that that's when you're gonna get rewarded for that preparation. You didn't say what you wanna do, but I would say pick something singular uh, and then become, if you're interested in Linux, then do like the RHCSA exam or the LPIC level one. Uh, I haven't done that, I'm not gonna do that. I'm more focused on Red Hat. Um, uh, Ubuntu has a certification as well. And a lot of Linux, I think Linux open source people kind of poo poo the whole certification thing. But that's just the, uh, the path to get the interview. A lot of like, in Iceland as well, even though we're a small country, a lot of like, uh, what's it called in, in English? Uh, job application, that's the word that I was looking for. Sorry, I had the brain fog moment. A lot of job applications are just thrown out the window because you don't click a box that somebody in HR created. Uh, it's so ridiculous. But uh, I think that they lose a lot of great applicants based on some HR requirements that don't make sense. If you can click as many of those boxes and get the interview, that's half the battle. That's why I got the interviews because I have good references. I have a long history in IT and maybe you don't have that, but if you have good references uh, and then you can always write your resume in a way that's like, mm. don't write a general job application, just spam it out there. Find a job that you want and just carve that thing out in stone, amazing. So, and just send it off and just really check what they're looking for and write around that, write your resume into the fields that they're kind of expecting. And so when you get that interview, then you can show them your amazing personality, that you're just wanting to learn, you're excited, you ask questions about the company, about their position, how they like the company. <sighs> It's amazing how well it works just to show interest in other human beings that are across the table. Like, w what are the challenges that you guys are facing? Uh, how is it working here? How's the cafeteria? Like, just honestly show excitement and enthusiasm and ask them questions. Um, and so that get, goes a long way. I am going to tell you that. Just think about it, like preparation, opportunity, crossroads, you're ready for that opportunity when it hits. Uh, I'll just give you a, a simple story. I did a pivot within, pivot <laughs> within my own company for the last three years. So how did I do that? Uh, I just kind of took the initiative of, I took a lot of certifications, I studied a lot, uh, I was sharing notes with the community. I was networking on LinkedIn. And so I was getting pinged from different companies to come work for them. So I, I think that all the initiative that you can take and all the studying that you can do and sharing notes and just being involved in the community, that just raises awareness about who you are and different companies get to know, like see you and people that are hiring managers on LinkedIn might potentially see you and you start to connect with different people. And I think that's a really good way to pivot. It's honestly just show initiative and, and, and study and share ideas. And so that would be uh, something that I would tell everyone. It's like write down a lot of notes. Like you can see on the screen here, I have any type, I love any type. I, like, I take so many notes. Um, and then when I've cultivated notes, I share them. Like I put uh, our HCSA notes on GitHub and I, it has like a bunch of stars. More than 100, I think, uh, which is a lot for me. Like, uh, 
uh, who am I? And also be on LinkedIn. I, I know there's a lot of like poo poo on LinkedIn and a lot of people don't like it. But for me, it's it served the purpose in that I put my notes, my content, like how I'm working on this. I network with people there and it has pluses and minuses, of course, as with everything. And then what happens, like if you, you, you take initiative, you start studying, you do some certifications, you put it out there, you take down notes, you share, the, share it with people, people start to notice. And I was pinged and offered jobs from different companies over the last three years when people just saw that, hey, he's studying, he's friendly, and he's passionate, he's easy to work with, and people are like, hey, I, I wanna hire that person. And I'm not special, I just, I think anyone can do this. So just don't think that you're stuck. And I hope my answer is gonna help if you watch this Radar Cubed. It's just be excited. Uh, and learn new things. And even if you have to cash out for certifications and stuff like that, books, um, a lot of, I do a lot of my studying on O'Reilly. I pay a monthly subscription for that. And so I would just, I really recommend that. It's just start studying. And even if you don't do certifications, if you don't like that, that's cool. Uh, like, but let's say you study, you study for a certification, take down a lot of notes, share those notes with people and put it on LinkedIn, put it on X. Uh, what I did on LinkedIn, because I have been in Canada for five years, uh, I've lot, a lot, lost a lot of connections within the IT industry, and I just started adding people, uh, started liking their things, uh, connecting to them on LinkedIn, and uh, slowly it just started to accumulate. And that's what I wanna tell everybody out there is just, uh, study and even if you don't take the certifications write down a lot of notes and let's say you're studying system D and you just learn everything about system D uh, take down a lot of notes and then put them on github LinkedIn X whatever and share them with the community and it just shows uh, people that especially if you get an interview like hey here's my github account I have all these notes and I have 200 stars on this one 100 stars on this one they're like oh that's impressive Companies want people that take notes, share knowledge. I'll tell you something as well. It's just be a nice person. Uh, don't be grumpy at work. Don't be the person that they're like, oh, that person is, I have to ask him a question or her a question. Uh, that's not cool. I think honestly for me, uh, a lot of where I've gotten to is just, I like people and I like being around people and uh, I like to hopefully motivate people, laugh, have fun. And uh, I think that always helps a lot. So those are my five cents. I probably a lot of people won't agree, but it's worked for me and it just keeps me excited about work as well. Just showing up for work on a Monday. Sometimes it's like rough. But uh, honestly, when you get into a gig that you like with people that you like, like I have right now, it's amazing. So uh, yeah, those are my notes. Ask again, I can clarify, I can make another video if somebody wants, just ask me a question, click like and subscribe and put the comment down below. I uh, am an open book and um, thank you for asking. Talk to you guys later, bye.